news you can use. Just a couple of items I want to cover today, not, a, not anything uh, big dramatic, but there are, um, there are consequences to making underlying assumptions that are dramatically off. And two of them recently that uh, were in the news in the last few days, uh, why nobody's been able to predict the housing market. And we talked about this last Thursday that, uh, you know, we weren't able to, as a nation, come up with a consensus whether the housing market was going up or down, essentially, that's the long and short of it, um, here in the, in the short term, like in the next year. Two of the biggest reasons uh, are the following. Number one, all of the prognosticators uh, bet that senior citizens, primarily baby boomers and older, uh, when they got to a certain age, were going to, as previous generations had done, we're going to sell our houses and move into some type of either assisted living or living with their kids or something like that. Um, and it turns out that the baby boomer generation overwhelmingly has decided to quote age in place. In fact, 93% of the respondents to a recent study by AARP said that uh, uh, these folks will stay in their houses at very, you know, basically take me out feet first, first. Uh, they're not going anywhere. They're going to stay uh, in their houses. Now, you know, all of the prognosticators, all of the economists over the years, and especially the ones for the National Realtor Association, the NRA, have, uh, have estimated that it was the opposite. Only 7%, 8%, up to 10% would actually want to stay in their homes. The rest would want to move on and they had prepared their life accordingly, their finances and so on and so forth. But it's, it's not like that. It's uh, everybody's wanting to stay in place. Now, what this does is it keeps a certain number, a large amount actually of homes off the market because the largest homeowning segment of the population is still baby boomers right now. They own more houses than any of the other generations, including millennials, Gen X, Gen Y, Z, A, B, whatever they are. Um, and so those homes are not coming on the market and, and accordingly, they're not uh, available for resale. And, you know, eventually folks will have to move out of their homes. Uh, but it looks like instead of happening two or three years ago, going for the next 15, it may not start for 15 more years and then it would, it would take effect. So that has messed up all of their calculations. And, you know, the home builders use this information to schedule how many homes they're going to build into the future. And that's why everybody has been saying last several years, we're not building enough homes because, um, you know, they, they were seeing, they were reading the tea leaves and seeing that not enough folks were moving out of their homes and into some type of other living arrangements, smaller homes, that kind of thing. And, uh, and so there is not enough houses for that particular demographic at this point in time. Number two, uh, and, and part of this is the fault of some of these local communities who wanted like an Amazon facility uh, locally. They, they wanted to, and they offered tax, uh, basically tax abatements and things like that to a lot of folks, uh, to besides Amazon, to other you know, big employers to come to their area, but what they overlooked was the affordable housing. Now, when you have a large employer coming to area, you've got to have enough affordable housing in that area. And a lot of cases, they just didn't, uh, you know, these communities didn't have that. And so there's a mismatch between employment and affordable housing. And so in certain areas like say New York City, where there's a huge demand and they need a lot of workers, primarily in the service industries and a lot of the great, because of the great, uh, the great quit, as they call it, the people who quit their jobs, they can't replace those people, those workers, because there's not enough affordable housing in those areas. So uh, these are two big factors that uh, folks have not accounted for in their calculations uh, for future housing requirements. And how they will affect the market is to be determined coming up. But you know, on the surface, it would look like it would argue for a shortage of housing rather than a glut of housing. So once again, we'll keep you guys up to speed as we get more intel, but two big factors to keep in mind that all of the prognosticators, the talking head economists didn't factor in is the seniors aren't moving and there's not enough affordable housing where there are jobs needed. So uh, those two things will continue to be a mismatch, at least for the next year or two, I, I predict.